the Planned Parenthood Federation of America and coalition partners protested that George Ann Usover of the ACLU at left outside the Department of Health and Human Services in support of a young immigrant woman to have an abortion. Michael S. Williamson, Washington Post breaking ADC appeals court has given the federal government until October 31st to find a sponsor for an undocumented, pregnant teenager who is in U.S. custody and seeking to have an abortion, which the Department of Health and Human Services has said it does not want to facilitate. Lawyers for the girl said in court Friday morning that it would be difficult to find a government-approved sponsor to take custody of the teen, who is being held in a special detention facility for undocumented minors caught crossing the border into the United States illegally. The teen, who is identified in court papers as Jane Doe, is 15 weeks pregnant and has been seeking an abortion since late September. A lower court judge had ordered the government to allow the procedure by Saturday, but the government appealed, resulting in Friday's decision, which appears likely to, to extend the time frame by at least 10 days. Texas law bans abortion after 20 weeks, and requires patients seeking abortions to undergo counseling by a doctor at least 24 hours before the procedure. This is a developing story. It will be updated shortly. Federal judges weighing the case of a Central American teenager seeking to end her pregnancy seemed inclined on Friday to resolve the issue without wading into the explosive mix of immigration and abortion law, but at the same time acknowledged that such action may be impossible. The judges recognized that finding a sponsor in the United States to take custody of the teen, who is being held in Texas after crossing the border illegally, may not be feasible in time for her to terminate her pregnancy. She is 15 weeks pregnant, and Texas bans most abortions after 20 weeks. Fairly quickly matters. Were it a point where days matter, Judge Patricia A. Millett said during the emergency hearing before the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit the 17-year-old's case reached the Federal Appeals Court in Washington after a district court judge on Wednesday ordered government officials to allow the teen to have an abortion without delay. The Trump administration appealed, saying it is not obligated to facilitate an abortion in part because the U.S. government has an interest in promoting childbirth and fetal life. Lawyers for the government say they are not denying the teenager the right to abortion guaranteed by the 1973 Supreme Court ruling Roe v. Wade, because the girl could voluntarily leave the United States and try to seek an abortion elsewhere or find a sponsor to live with in this country. At oral argument on Friday, Judge Brett M. Kavanaugh pressed the government's attorney several times about why it appears to have a different policy for the teenager, who is identified in court papers as Jane Doe, than it has for pregnant women locked up in federal prison and for adult women in immigration detention. For those women in federal custody, he noted, the government does facilitate abortions. Undocumented immigrant minors are overseen by the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Refugee Resettlement. Under the Trump administration, that office has actively discouraged teens in its custody from having abortions, according to court filings. The government's lawyer, Catherine H. Dorsey, told the court Friday that incarcerated women do not have the same options as the pregnant teen returning home to seek an abortion or finding a legal sponsor. But she also acknowledged publicly for the first time that abortion is illegal in the teenager's homeland. The court has kept the name of that country under seal to protect the teen's privacy. Dorsey struggled at times to answer the judge's questions, repeatedly saying, I don't know and declining to state whether the government believes the teen has a constitutional right to an abortion. Even if she has that right, we don't have to facilitate it, Dorsey said, adding that government officials are looking out for the best interest of the minor child in federal custody. Bridget Amiri, a lawyer with the American Civil Liberties Union who is representing the teenager, told the court that two potential sponsors had already fallen through and said the often lengthy process of approving a sponsor includes background checks and possible a home visit. She urged the court not to set aside its obligation to protect the teen's constitutional right to abortion just because she may eventually obtain a sponsor, and said the government is not acting in the teen's best interest. They are supplanting their decision about what she should do with her pregnancy, Amiri said. That's a veto power over her abortion decision. A state judge in Texas ruled in September that the teen could bypass the state's parental consent requirement to obtain an abortion. Millett suggested that a federal policy should not override the decision of a state court judge. The appeals court allowed the teen to undergo the counseling Texas law requires on Thursday, as ordered by the lower court judge but the panel has temporarily blocked that judge's order to allow the abortion to proceed.
The three-judge panel did not indicate when a ruling would be issued, but Kavanaugh concluded the hour and a half long hearing by saying that it would come soon enough. Underscoring the significance and interest in the case, Chief Judge Merrick Garland agreed on Friday to live-stream audio of the oral argument for the first time in 16 years. Roughly 40 people gathered Friday morning in front of the Department of Health and Human Services to demand justice for Jane. Brought together by Planned Parenthood, the ACLU and the National Latina Institute for Reproductive Health, the protesters hoisted signs and sang chants in Spanish and English showing solidarity with the teenager, and expressing contempt for Scott Lloyd, director of the Office of Refugee Resettlement. The constitutional right to abortion does not depend on your immigration status, said George Ann Yusova, legislative counsel for the ACLU. Yusova said the group WASNT just fighting for this young woman, but every woman in government custody. The pregnant teenager faces a cruel clock that is ticking rapidly, said Bethany Van Kampen, a policy analyst for the National Latina Institute for Reproductive Health, given that Texas prohibits most abortions after 20 weeks. Where is the voice for Jane? Where is the humanity for Jane? She said. Rachel Siegel contributed to this report.